giving us the facts, breaking down exactly what this indictment means. Allison. Good morning, Adrian. This morning, for the first time in U.S. history, a former president is charged with a crime and an arrest is imminent. A source connected to former President Trump tells News Nation Mr. Trump will most likely surrender on Tuesday. Now, the charges remain under seal for now, but this investigation dates back to Mr. Trump's presidential campaign in 2016. Mr. Trump, Trump accused of making hush money payments to adult film actress Stormy Daniels, whom he denies having an affair with or making illegal payments to. Reports not confirmed independently by News Nation indicate uh, there could be a number of charges here. Now, a spokesperson for Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg's office says prosecutors have contacted Mr. Trump's defense team to coordinate a surrender. Mr. Trump responding in his own words at length on Truth Social, saying in part, this is political persecution and election interference at the highest level in history. The radical left Democrats have been engaged in a witch hunt to destroy the Make America Great Again movement, indicting a completely innocent person in an act of blatant election interference. Weaponizing our justice system to punish a political opponent has never happened before. Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg says he's doing, he, Trump says that he's doing Joe Biden's dirty work. I believe this witch hunt will backfire massively on Joe Biden. Now, two weeks ago, Mr. Trump predicted his own arrest, warning of potential death and destruction at the time, calling for protests if he were in fact charged. A spokesperson for Mr. Trump instead calling for peace last night on News Nation with our colleague Chris Cuomo. Well, absolutely, he wants peace and he wants everyone to realize what's happening to our country, which is very, very sad. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, a potential rival of Mr. Trump's for 2024, is now calling the indictment un-American and says he won't assist in extradition as the former president is in his state in Palm Beach at Mar-a-Lago. Now, here at the White House, uh, the president, the official word from the president is no word at all, no comment. In fact, as this news broke, the White House sent out details on the president's Investing in America tour, a trip that he's making to Minnesota. President Biden distancing himself from the legal drama here, focusing on his own agenda. And Adrian, I will note that in one hour now, the president's going to leave the White House to head to Mississippi to tour some of the damage there. We do expect him to get many questions about this uh, from reporters, and we will be monitoring for any comment from the president. Yeah, it may be surprising if he does speak up about this case uh, because the White House, the current administration, has been relatively quiet. Thank you so much, Allison. Let Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.